Hey. Good morning. It is so great to see you today. Welcome to Cooking with Carl and Baking with Becca. This is a Cooking with Carl episode. Yeah. And we are, what are we baking, Carl? Uh, we're friends again. We're friends again. We're going to make a true test because we're making packets from scratch, sauce from scratch, everything. Amazing. Right. So we're going to pretend to be Italian stallions today. <laughs> I'm the pasta master. Yeah, pasta master. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that's as close as I get. But uh, needless to say, super excited to see you. Yeah. Welcome to the class. I see Allison, uh, Kathy. Oh my God, Jess is here. Hey, Jess. A few of some really good friends. It's wonderful to see. And Marlene and Jennifer. It's so great to see all of you folks here today. Okay. All right. So let's get started. There she is. Hey, Jess. Ooh, I miss you. Uh, so we're going to start today. We're going to start off with recipes. So I want to talk to you a little bit about what's been going on here. So we actually went and got specific flour for this today because the recipe for the pasta is very basic. It's two ingredient pasta super duper easy but when you're doing the two ingredient pasta they do want you to have very specific flour yeah it's so it's zero zero flour and the difference between zero zero flour and all-purpose flour or whole wheat flour is that it gives your pasta a little more bite so i guess it's got a little bit more gluten in it which is really fascinating they had they had zero zero for pizza they had zero zero for pasta it, this is the world. Zero, zero for everything. Look at know. us. We don't that? even know what that means. What does it mean? Zero, zero it means more bite to your pasta. Okay. That's what okay. it means. That's what the internet tells me. And that's what I'm going with for this today. The other thing you need yeah. uh, for your recipe is eggs. So your ratio is you need 450 grams. So that's almost two cups of flour. And you need five to six large eggs. Uh, so a lot, eggs, eh? a lot of eggs and then maybe i'm gonna open up stuff while carl tells you what he's gonna need for his sauce today what kind of a sauce oh, are you making mister what was the word especially the beef bolognese yeah i wasn't oh, even gonna attempt it nice one nice one <laughs> so there, there's uh there was one odd ingredient in here so <laughs> it starts off normal you know olive oil uh then you add your onion uh, carrot and celery finely chopped a uh, pound of ground beef, so we, we tubed it up again. We tubed it up because tube you know is what? affordable. I was asking the guy at the store, and I said, how many grams in a pound? And he said, 454, and this is exactly one pound. So we got that. Um, tons of garlic. And he called for white or red wine. We're going to do a white today. Yep. I got the cheapy stuff. Uh, crushed Lunch tomatoes, stuff. tomato paste. Chicken or beef broth, low sodium, a bay leaf, which nobody even knows what they do, but we're going to add one. Bay leaves are amazing, right? It's, it's, it brings beautiful it's not a flavor. real thing. It is a real no, thing. No, it's the biggest scam in cooking. He think. thinks it's yeah. the biggest scam in cooking. I love a it? fresh bay leaf. Who here likes bay leaves? Well, it's yeah. an Italian yeah. thing. You need fresh basil leaves in your pasta. Bay well, basil, basil for sure. But bay like a bay, bay leaf. You know oh, bay leaf. leaf. Oh, bay leaf. You take them out after. So. Yeah, but you take them out and they're still good. That doesn't mean just because you take them out that they're bad. Just a big scam. I disagree. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> You're uh, absolutely right, Becca. <laughs> and then, uh, so salt and pepper. And then the weird thing is at the end, we're going to add a cup of milk. Uh, it says That's whole milk. Whole milk. I've never had milk in my past. Yeah, sauce. we'll see I've how had it goes. In my I mean, pasta sauce. with the wine. With the wine, I'm always in the bolognese. Uh, this lengthy recipe, I'm gonna chop quietly in the corner while Becca kind of starts. And if you need me to help you with stuff, thank you, Carl. Yeah, at least, at least I can just. You know prep. what I needed right away while he's starting to prep is I need a fork, so I'm just gonna come over here to our sanitized forks and grab a fork right away. Yeah. So pasta, again, much like anything else, is a super that you have to kind of put together by hand is a super um, therapeutic thing to do. So this is gonna take a good deal of kneading and that's okay, I'm, I'm all right for it. However, if you're having trouble, if you have any issues with upper like hand, um, you know, strength or any kind of small motor movement, what I recommend is if you actually have a mixer. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask you, are you gonna use the mixer? I'm today? not gonna use the mixer. Yeah. So the mixer, 
elbow grease <laughs> going on a good old-fashioned Italian mama way. But what I will say is this, um, if you're having any issues with your hands, certainly if you do it in a machine, it's just as good. If you don't have a mixer like this, you can do it in a food processor if you have it. And worse comes to worse, what you can actually do is even if you've got a beater, Put your ingredients in slowly, kind of add your flour in, your eggs in first and add your flour in slowly until it makes like a fine kind of crumble. And then once it gets to that point, then you can kind of start rolling it together a little bit easier yeah. uh, than having to put like the entire 20 to 30 minutes that you need to be kneading this stuff. Now we're not going to need this for 30 yeah, minutes today. Are. Am I? This Good Lord. Power kneader. A power kneader. Well, I am powerful. <laughs> that's for sure. All right, so I'm going to start by... Uh, you like when the uh, when cats kind of say it's oh, ma making biscuits, right? Making yeah, biscuits, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess yeah. I am kind of like a kitty cat. <laughs> All right, so I've got uh, one cup here. Here we go. One cup of my zero zero flour. Are, and you, are you just laying it down? I'm putting okay. it right on a nice, clean, cool surface. Let's get so some camera action. We're going to get here. some camera action on my, my uh, flour mountain here is what I'm calling it. Who here makes pasta? Does anybody make pasta themselves? Anybody? Not homemade, no. Not just homemade. no. <laughs> no. no. Um, Easier no. to buy. Is a spatula. Yes. The, <laughs> the easy one where you just spatula. drop it in uh, hot oil or whatever. Right? Oh, that's oh, nice. yeah. Phil, that sounds like a you recipe. All right. My so, mom too, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, you yeah. too, Marlene, hey? Yeah. So what, what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to just put that right there. So I've got my little pasta mountain. Do I have to watch with me? I'm just started. Allison, did you it's see? So, it's okay. I'm, my daughter's here too. So oh, uh, she's listening you. in. Awesome. Amazing More to see Mary, you again. Yeah. Bring it on. Yeah, bring it on. So what I'm going to do first is make a well. So what I want to do is I've got my mountain. Now I'm making... Oh, well, oh, volcano. volcano without all the cool baking yeah. soda action, right? I wish that's my kind of jam. I miss those days of science fair experiments and stuff like that. Yeah. That was a super fun time for me. I was always doing stuff on like pathogenic bacteria back when I thought I was going to be a science nerd. You know, what? I just like making the big Bristol board uh, graphics. The Bristol you know, board yeah, graphics yeah, the were super, super fun. That was the best part for me. I always had like hot green, neon green, yeah, and yeah, neon. You had to make it pop for the judges. Oh, for sure, for sure. And I would have my agar agar plates. Oh my gosh, good times. Well, you're a true science. Huh? I enjoyed yeah. that. I still do. I still do. So I'm going super diced, okay, with this super stuff. Super diced? Yeah. Can we see what you're dicing? You want to show them what no, you're dicing? it's pretty boring. It's not that boring. Come on. Hey, Take everybody. a look at his dicing. He's not a boring guy, right, folks? He's pretty fancy. Dicey dice. And oh. uh, we're going to go... Anyway, you keep going. You All right. No, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, you do you. I'm going to move this back this way so everyone can see. Okay, so here's the well. I'm going to start. So you're breaking your eggs in one at a time. Yeah. One egg. You're going to fit eight? In no, there? I'm gonna fit five. Oh, in there? In there, Good apparently. Luck, I know that doesn't need some more room I need here. to make yeah. a bigger well. Just a second. Good so luck. oh I don't know. This is looking like a little bit. It's all right. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be good. That's not a well anymore. Well, I'm making it look like it's fine. This is good. I'm gonna stop talking myself out of not being able to do this. Yeah. Two. You won the right. chocolate competition. I did win the chocolate competition. Oh get in run. there. That no, we didn't see that. All right, two. Oh. Three. I think I better start mixing a little bit and adding the eggs. And what's up, kid? Nothing. Just hitting you with celery. You're hitting me with celery. I'm used to that. <laughs> Gotta hit me with something, or I might fall asleep. Right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. How's everybody doing this week? Everybody feeling okay? Mm -hmm. Heat. Yeah. Heat has been insane. Uh, I went out to um, on a little trip on uh, Saturday. Yeah. And uh, boy, it was hot where we were. We're it just kidding. Out in Niagara. I was out in Niagara on Saturday. Not any cooler there, right? Not any cooler. We did get a thunderstorm. Yeah. But it was pretty hot. This is, the <laughs> I've ever seen. This is a Carl sized garlic clove, oh, right? Nice monster. I just want to monster eat. clove. All right. Oh, okay. Stay in there. My well is complete. <laughs> I've got my five eggs in there. So I'm moving my egg things off to the side. And what you have to do is break your yolks first, says the recipe. This okay. is a terrible well. This is the worst well I've seen in the history of wells, but that's okay. You know what? As long as your team is not full of eggs. Yeah, well, my table's about to be full of eggs. 
But that's okay, Carmen. Can you open first? Yes. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and have a little bit of a disaster, but that's okay because slowly but surely, the flour over top of the eggs as they seep over your counter and uh, quickly save oh, yourself. No, let's get my post it note. Get your post it note out of the oh, way, Carl, yeah. because this is not the way it's supposed <laughs> to happen. But that being said, it's going to be fine because we're going to slowly mix in the eggs. And the key to this is if you were an Italian mama, you would have this down pat. Your eggs would not be yeah. going everywhere. It would not look like a disaster. But what How you want to do, do is have like a scrambled egg kind of consistency and then start to mix. So you add in flour slowly. What if you had like just a tiny little counter? If you had a tiny little counter, well, I would say, you know, you just make a bigger mess on the tinier <laughs> counter and hope for the best. <laughs> That's always my mantra. Make a mess now, clean it up later. Make a mess, hope for the best. Make a mess, hope for the best. Carl, I think we should like so copy trademark that, that on one. Aprons, we think. do need that on our aprons. <laughs> but needless to say, we're going. Now you can see that the pasta is starting to come together. I'm slowly incorporating the flour in and I'm going ahead. Now my, my counter, I'm very lucky. My counter is super duper clean. You sure? Yeah, 100%. I cleaned it before we started. Before you got here, Carl. Oh, I messed it up. You messed it up. That's okay. You can mess it up. I'll put hot sauce all over it. Hot sauce? Well, then it'll be your kind of pasta, <laughs> won't it? I'm surprised. Yeah, there's no spice whatsoever. Just pepper today. Just pepper today, huh? No parsley. No parsley? Oh, we got garlic. Though. You might be a little bit heartbroken about that. That's right. So you can see it now that my pasta is starting to come together a little bit. Um, just kind of incorporating the rest of the pieces in. Now I'm told with this recipe that it could be a little bit dry depending on, but it looks pretty wet to me, this pasta. So, and I can incorporate a little more flour as needed if it's too sticky. So I may want to incorporate a little bit more flour, but let's see how we go. You can see that it's already kind of coming together here. Question boss. Yes. Um, I've seen people with little rolly machines that kind of split your pasta into yeah, cool. things, but how are you going to do it? Well, I'm gonna actually cut it with my big sharp knife oh, that I envy. Really? I have a knife envy right now. Let's so see you're that gonna knife. Slice along? I'm gonna slice along. Look at these. Well, He's got both of them. This is unfair oh, I'm to me. It away from Mom, you. no, you need to give it weird, back. Weird obsession with I things. love these knives. <laughs> not, to, not to do anything nefarious with them. I just like them. She All right. Sleeps with it next to her pillow. <laughs> really, I don't. Takes but it home. From I, work. I haven't taken it home from work. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do? You know what? I did bring in my own knife when we started this show. And you did, you did. Carl's a true master of. Well, these these were making me nervous. Yeah, they are pretty big. <laughs> I'm used to them now. So you can see that this is a pretty wet pasta. I'm going to give up with the with the fork now, and I'm going to start to get my hand into that's it. That's your so thing. Eh? That's my thing yeah. is my hand. So what I need to do is that because it's so wet, is to add some flour, and I need to start working the gluten a little bit. So you can see it's starting to come together here, but it's still pretty sticky still not the right consistency. So the recipe says, the stickier it is, add more flour. So that's what we're going to do is add more flour. Just I'm and just gonna add until it gets to the right texture. And you're not gonna mix regular flour. No. Only this special flour. For, okay, when you see a recipe and it's calling for zero, zero, it has to be zero, zero. There are recipes that do I got have all purpose for sure and work just fine but you need to follow the recipe for the all purpose as opposed to following. Now we're in the major leagues, I think. This we're is, in the major leagues. This is the real, hey, we froze. We froze, Anybody we froze like ice. My hands are still going okay. pretty well though. Carl's gonna take care of our other one because we turned off. One second. But in the meantime, you can see what I'm doing here with this dough, which is just working it. It's still very sticky. So the other thing to note with pasta recipe, which is really interesting, hold on, hold on. is that we just we lost our microphone. Oh, we lost our mic. Okay. <sighs> okay. Your phone just died. Yeah, yeah. So we're coming back. We're coming back. Hey. Here. Okay, sorry about that, folks. Now, now the only thing you missed me nattering on about here is What's the that ingredient. The, oh, the secret ingredient. We were nattering on about the fact that um, eggs can kind of throw things off. If you are a very big pasta connoisseur and you're very specific about making pasta, kind of like down to a fine science, you would weigh your eggs. So you weigh your eggs because what it does is it 
the weight of the eggs versus the um, amount of dough that you use. So I'm just making coffee for a member here. Uh, is actually affects the texture of the dough. So you can see I'm starting to knead this now. And I'm starting to get into it. Now it's still very, very sticky. It's sticking to the cupboard, which tells me more flour bits. So on it goes. So I'm going to keep going with this and keep working this. And you can see I'm rolling and pushing. So with pasta, it's very different than bread. You, you do want to you do want to really work the gluten a lot. Um, so I'm going to be doing this for a good long time. It's still sticky, so more flour will come soon. So for now, I'm going to continue to do this. And then we can kind of take an idea at what, to, what kind of a time that's going to take. It's probably going to take about 15 to 20 minutes to actually get it to a consistency that we want it to be that we can roll it and put it in the fridge again sticky well, sticky sticky you, chill it, eh? you do have to chill it or you can have it sitting on the counter for two hours two hours yep so that the gluten because what you're doing is you're allowing the gluten to kind of rehydrate and become elastic -y again it's fascinating the way this stuff works so it's nice to be able to to work it and keep it going Perfect. So we're still going. Carl, so tell me about what you're doing to develop your flavor. How well, do you develop flavor for a sauce? So they say uh, we're it's, it's all about like cooking some ingredients first in, in the oil and yeah. letting them go uh, translucent. So what goes in first is the uh, onion, carrot, and celery. Oh, carrot, that's what I got. Chocolate. Carrot. Yeah, that's Love a good carrot. You know what? So we let them sweat in the oil. And then later we're going to add the, the garlic and the beef. <gasps> And then the tomato stuff. So I think all the, the initial ingredients kind of just sweat it out. Sweat it out. Sweat into sweat the oldies. Out. I love that. Richard, Richard Simmons. We haven't Simmons. seen Richard for a long time. I don't know. I like Richard. But you know who is my favorite is Queen Jane. Yeah, Jane weird. Fonda. Did anybody ever do the oh, yeah. Jane Fonda workouts? I used to do the country, the country music workout <laughs> constantly. Oh my God, the best. So I'm leaving the skin on the carrots. That's my style. Yeah, yeah, of uh, course. Rustic. Rustic, but you've me. washed it though, right? They call me Rustic. Rustic? That was my, my nickname they call in me high rustic. school. Rustic. That's a funny one. Uh, Carl's that's English. just my, I don't know. I like potatoes. I leave them on carrots. I leave them on, I mean, you wash them for sure. Yeah. But I mean, that's, I, that's where all the nutrients are. Yeah, of course, in the skin, right? Yeah. So, I am just scraping the cover to get a nice clean surface here so that I can incorporate the covered pieces we're into the being nice and civil today. We are civil today, not, aren't we? Not I'm poking so me or hiding ingredients. I haven't been hiding ingredients this week, but we're not being nefarious this week, are we? Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll be a secret uh, party. Oh, this smells good. We got carrots, we got celery. That's like a miracle. Very fresh. Yeah. Celery and garlic. And I, I personally wouldn't carrots. add carrots to a tomato sauce, but if you get them real small, they're delicious. They bring a really nice sweetness. You know what oh. it is that carrots bring? Is that what's real the, big what's the milk in the bring? I don't know. What <laughs> I mean, a cream sauce, sure. Like, in a regular tomato sauce. We'll see. Have you heard of that? I'm sorry. You heard of milk in a cream sauce? Or, uh, Never. Sauce? No, oh, in a cream. I'm sorry. In a cream sauce, it's cream. Not a cream sauce. Yeah. Sorry. We mean just regular tomato sauce. Yeah, I've like never heard of sauce. milk in a tomato sauce. We shall see. I don't know. With the wine. With the wine. Never. Less wine for sauce. Yeah. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Here we go. Now I'm really oh, working this now. Looking, it's looking oh, good. Man. It's coming. Is that enough? How can you judge how much? That's just experience. That's right? just experience, I think. Because this is my first time making this like with zero, zero flour. I usually do the all-purpose flour recipe. It'll be interesting to see. It's a little stickier than I'm used to handling. So we'll see. I keep on adding because I'm like, oh, it's still sticky. And I don't like oh, my so flour. It's, it's a feel, right? Sticky. It is a feel. Carl, I don't know what to do. There's clear in my glasses. I can't see anything. Can you? Thank you, Carl. <laughs> my professional <laughs> hair pusher. Thank you, Carl. 
I appreciate with that. With my carrot and onion fingers. Oh, and yeah, no, that's okay. That's I'd rather have carrot and onion in my hair than have hair in my eye. Oh. Now, question. Question. Yeah. Um, zero, zero flour. Is that without gluten or with lots of gluten? I think that's with more gluten. I believe so. It's, it's for, they had it for pizza uh, dough or for making your own pasta. It was yeah. Labels. Uh. And it's a very small bag. Um, I guess a little goes a long way. With that, yeah, so. it does. It does. And honestly, I think he'll, what it does is it provides like a chewier bite, which means your gluten is mm, more yeah. developed, which I think leans towards more gluten. Yeah. I got going on here. I got my stuff nice and diced, real thin. Carrots are giving me trouble. I think we're going to have more sauce than pasta. But Probably, but that's okay. You know what? Part. That goes real flat, right? And can I, it does. Once we roll it out, it'll go flat. It'll be enough. Oh, you're getting tired. I'm not getting tired. I hear it. I I'm hear it. tough like an ox. You're going to forfeit for the competition. What competition? <laughs> he is obsessed now since I won last week. He's obsessed with I'm competition. A, I'm a sore loser. He's, right? Well, he won the first one, though. So we're just even now. It's Did not I even really like know. I were unevenly matched or something. God. Silly egg. I'm just bothering you. Yeah, I know you are. Well, this, is, okay. this is boring. You got to stay entertained somehow. You're chopping, <laughs> chopping, 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 chopping. Now chopping I can master. feel this is getting real sticky again. So, so. you don't want it, or you do want it? I don't want it. I don't want this to be sticky. You can you see, be I'm just going at this, and then because of all of their energy. And stress relief. Sorry, I just muted you. This is a really great thing to do that will allow you to relieve that stress yeah. and get that out of your head because you're just mashing this stuff. Uh, a dough punching bag. A dough punching bag. So, is it, do you think it's too soon? Can I start uh, of simmering? Of course, you can start flavors? simmering. It's never too soon to simmer. So Carl's going to take the small camera and show you what he's up to. He's going to simmer that stuff until it becomes translucent. Yep. Not the wrong word that I used last time. It Hilarious. Happens. But I always know what words I want to say. And then they always come out sounding so preposterous that I uh, kind of sometimes mix them up. You know, you're, you're a wordsmith. You, you do use some good ones. What are those your vernacular. My vernacular, yes. A good vernacular. Why, thank you, sir. That's a good word. That is a good word. Look, you have a good, uh, well-developed sense of it. Oh, I read it on vocabulary. I read it once. I don't know what it means. I read it once. <laughs> it's a colloquialism yeah. kind of thing, your vernacular. Do you want to keep the um, camera? I, I'm no, take the okay. camera. Go show them what yeah, you're up to. Take a trip there um, so you can see. So when you guys are making tomato sauce, what do you put in your sauce? Like, if you're, do you have a favorite ingredient that goes into your sauce? Allison, how about you? I just use garlic and basil at the end and just um, keep uh, in it. Yeah. You know, yeah. to get rid of the, the, too much of the two of it. It, it just makes it, I just keep simmering it until, you know, it's to my liking. A little bit of salt. Yeah. And I just put a little bit of hot pepper because, you know, I like that. Yeah. And then at the end, just put some basil. Absolutely. Hot pepper. That's, that's, that's what we need to add. I we guess. love hot pepper you know, in this we, house. We've got, yeah, we got a crazy bonnet pepper. Should I chop a little bit of that? If you want to, come on. Of course you do I want you. to. Let's do that. Chop it in. Of course he wants yeah. to. I tried to sneak it in on his chocolate last week, but he was not into yeah. that. Yeah. Let's see. All right, so Kathy, what about you? Kathy, what do you put in your sauce? Uh, I make all sorts of different ones. Yeah? Uh, somebody, when I was younger from Italy, said lots of oregano. It depends where you're from, right? Oh, yeah, of course. And what region were they from with oregano? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I just remember that was the first time I felt old because the person hadn't been born when Kennedy was shot. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. I felt really old. Oh geez. <laughs> I wasn't very old yeah. either, but I thought, whoa. <laughs> That's all right. Anyway, oh, I think Bolognese always has milk in it. Bolognese always has milk Proper in it. Proper Bolognese, I believe so. I've made it and it had milk in it always. 
And what does it bring to it, Kath, when you've like- I don't know. I, I don't know if I put it in at the beginning with the meat, I'd think it was tenderizing it. I oh, think a bolognese isn't supposed to be very tomatoey, a traditional one, I think. Is that it? Yeah, that's the style we're going for, and I'm not very familiar. So, so the and interesting- Cream in a rosé sauce. I yeah, just yeah, almost a rosé. Tomato rose sauce and add a little cream, it's a rosé sauce. Not Absolutely. really my taste, but- No, I'm more used to, to making like a, but I'm very funny, right? Like I make, I roast my tomatoes and then I do the tomatoes and I do butter and I just uh, do a little bit of garlic and, and that's my sauce. Like I'm very basic with my sauce. I don't really follow traditional recipes. So I, I am really excited to see how this one yeah, follows. I don't usually follow recipe. The last time I made tomato sauce, I took leftover roasted vegetables and chopped them up really fine. And that was right. wonderful. Right. <laughs> There's well, nothing like yeah, I think that's great though. So, Kat, that's such a good thing to use what you've got in your fridge. So we're all about that too. And I think that's amazing. True test. True test. Carl's going to taste it. Oh my God. He's going to burn himself. He's going to burn Ooh. himself. Yeah. You see? Ooh. Look at this guy. Don't touch your eyes. Don't oh. touch your eyes. Don't that, rub your face. That is a pepper. Yeah. You Most better just rub your face. Nobody's on And homemade ravioli are my favorites. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Nice. Oh, mercy. Uh, that, so, that, is that a scotch bonnet pepper? Good gravy. Yes, it is. Oh, oh my goodness. That's super hot. Ooh, now I know. Uh, how red am I What is he doing? <laughs> I wanted guy. to see how much. Oh, I said, oh, we'll add the whole thing. No, sir, we're going to do half of that one, I think. This, this young man <laughs> right over here. Oh, boy. Burning himself with peppers oh. since 1992. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. So, oh. Stella, I see you there today. How are you, Stella? I, I can see her. Hi, Stella. Do you make tomato sauce? Hi. I'm very good. Good. No, I, I don't. That's why I have to learn how to mix sauce. Oh, nice. Well, this is the right episode for you, my friend. One of these days, you're going to be teaching us how yes. to make all kinds of things, too, because you have amazing recipes. So one week, we'll have you come and teach us. I'm okay with but that. But Chinese is uh, too much complicated. Oh, I love Chinese food. I love it. Yeah, we should make it's complicated, but it's so good. We can go dim sum again. <laughs> yeah, I'm all about that anytime. Let's go. Stella. Yeah, maybe we should plan for it. Carl is still crying over here. I don't know if you guys can see. My lips. <coughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Are you going to be all right? Do I need to get the fire extinguisher? What's going on? I love it. But I love it. My body does it. I don't think he loves it. I think he's saying he loves it, but he's faking it for the camera. Oh. This is good acting. Well, you want to try some? No, I'm Come good. On. I'm good. I'm yeah, good. There's a little piece. Oh, yeah. kid. Just a little bite. I can't really touch it and touch the pasta, you know? Oh, okay. I'll have some later. I will, though. Well, I'm it's like, in the sauce, so we're, I know. we're so doomed. I'll definitely, we'll be definitely having some. <clears throat> oh my goodness, here we go. If anybody else has tips or hints for sauce, Marlene, what do you put in your sauce? Um, I use, again, everything left over in the fridge. Um, yeah. <clears throat> lots of um, oregano. Sometimes I throw in thyme. Oh, thyme is nice. I, ne I never use scotch bonnet peppers. <laughs> Don't, don't ever, because... That's a Carl special. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a Carl special. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> Only this young man over here would use Scotch it's bonnet. for you guys. Yes. You can laugh at my uh, misfortune. Well, Carl, well, don't go to the bathroom. All right. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Carl, we're not laughing at you. We're laughing with, with you. me, for sure. I'm just checking the camera. Never so you guys can't right. see, but I, I put a big uh, ice pack over my camera. Ice pack? Because right. usually it overheats and then uh, we won't have a full show in good quality. But that's all right. Yeah. Here we go. I'm going to add some more flour. You so can see my dough is really starting to become smooth. Is it? Yep. And malleable. You can really see how when I'm hitting it up here, maybe we can bring the camera, yeah, yeah, camera in a bit. Everybody's starting this carrot sauce over here. 
That's okay. This doesn't look very tomato. We're yet. not tired of the, the sauce. Let's turn it down. It's getting nice and translucent. Good. Translucent. There it That's is. That's our word of the day. Transsucculent. <laughs> it was close enough. <laughs> That's it was close enough. Oh, good Lord. You know. English. Yeah. All right, here we are. So you can see my dough is starting to really look nice. So that it's all about kneading. This is this looks beautiful. It is a good dough. It feels nice. The gluten feels like it's developing. I feel calm, kind of nice. There you go. <laughs> I feel calm and relaxed. Me too. <laughs> which is a fun state of being. I'm, I'm let quite me tell the opposite, you. actually. Poor Carl. <laughs> that's because you ate a Scotch bonnet pepper, you turkey. I sure did. Oh man. Ding dong. About that. No, you shouldn't be sorry anyway, about that. that. Working. I'm going to add some beef now. Okay, All right, where's the beef? Where's the beef in my hand? In where's your hand. Two. How much beef are you adding again? So one pound or 454 grams. Which is basically this recipe as well. We're exactly. doing one pound yeah. of pasta. Call for a pound. So I couldn't find scissors, so let's do this again. Less carefully. This really is quite a fun thing to do. Like I'm quite this, enjoying huh? this so much. But I'm going to have to stop soon if I'm going to allow it to rest enough for us to... So it's got to rest a bit? It's got to rest. They want it ideally for 45 minutes to rest. We're not going to 45 minute rest it today, though. I want the gluten to develop, but it's not going to be that developed, I don't think. Well, as much happened? as I'd love it to be. What did happen? Oh, here we go. We're toothpaste in it out. Toothpaste in that is not nice. <laughs> not nice. Does anybody else get their beef in a tube? Sometimes. Sometimes, I right? On the tube kick, We've been really trying to purchase items that are very inexpensive. So yep. eggs, again, were super cheap. We bought the no-name brand eggs. The flour, how much was the zero, zero flour? That was a little more expensive, seven, though? Five or six bucks. And okay. Remember, it still it was still cheaper than that. What was the, the, the self-rising The self-rising that we made ourselves. Yeah. yeah, we didn't need that flour. We've got this flour. Okay, we're all tubed up here. Tube it up. <laughs> Sorry, this is a funny one because you folks are just watching us do like repetitive motions all over and oh, over. It's soothing, right? Is it soothing? I hope so. Maybe we should add some like really nice yeah, relaxation some music. Spiritual. Some spiritual music. music for, for me to uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Imagine me floating around in the sky or something. Here we are. So beef. And we're going to add. What else, Carl? Some white wine. Urban. White right. wine. Yeah. All right. So we got President's Choice <laughs> white wine because five bucks. Five bucks. Oh, but I don't oh know, you're I, not even over there. It may or may not be alcoholic, but it doesn't matter. No. That, that cooks up anyway. That does. That's the point. One half cup. Okay. All right. Oh, so, we're it's a screw top. Oh. Another fancy for us. <laughs> Nothing fancy for us. It's like when you go to the day partner in Quebec and get a what's the vine. Oh, oh, it's just that kind of wine. <laughs> we know what we mean. All right. Here we go. Okay, pulling it across. Ooh. How much is that a cup? Half. Half a cup. It's a big half cup, it looks like. Yeah, for sure. But you know what, that, that's all flavor, right? Flavor bomb. De alcoholized. Oh, okay, that's fine. De alcoholized wine is fine. Grape juice. Yep, nothing wrong with that. Here we go. So I'm gonna crank the heat a bit because the wine um, really cooled that off. Good, yeah, you better bring it back up to that simmer. It's smelling really nice, it's Carl. And, you know, it's funny. The tomato stuff's all last. Uh, I guess it's just developing these flavors. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper. Yep, you do you. Because I may forget. Sorry, excuse me. I reach. No, oh, you reach away. My recipe for tomato sauce calls for one glass of red wine before you even start. Ah. And it's it's to drink while you're uh, cooking. That's a good yes, recipe. I was going to say, you know, <laughs> your cooking classes seem like ones I would like to attend, much like your Caesar parties, yeah. which I would also like to attend. So just know that if you're ever having open season on the parties, I'll be there. <laughs> I'll be there. It's a great post. I was there for uh, Fred's birthday. Oh, yes. What a good time. What an amazing story about Fred. How old was he this year? 101. 101. Incredible. Incredible. All right. We just keep right, going. Is, uh, 
Not an appetizing color, but trust me. Oh, it will come around. <laughs> it will come around. That's all <laughs> good. It's nice gray going on here now. Now, when you're first browning <laughs> meat, it does, unless you've got the heat up on super high and if you've got a lot of water, it oxidizes quick. And so it does turn a little bit. Clean. I'm looking for a balance. I don't want to go too hot and burn burn some of my greens. No, uh, for sure. The delicate flavors, you know? Yep, fair enough. So let's see what I missed. You did I miss something. Did you miss something, Carl? Today. I don't think you did. I'm on the ball. Look at that. We're on the ball. You, you can How do that all day, I bet. I can yeah. do this all day for sure. <laughs> I don't get tired of doing stuff like this. Repetitive hand motions are very, very soothing for me. So how do you know? Oh, are you going to rest it flat in the fridge? Uh, so I'm going to ball it up and rest it in the yeah. fridge. I'll wrap it up in some cling film. Okay. So you can use cling film. Actually, you can also, if you want to leave it out, if you have time, you can leave it out for up to two hours just under an upturned bowl on your cupboard. Yeah, time is gonna help you with both of these things because even both this sauce things. called for like two hours of simmering. We're gonna just, yeah. you know, I'll, I'll let it keep going, but we'll, we'll pull some off um, to show you uh, when we're done here. We'll I see. don't know how long I've been needing this, Carl. What I, think think it's ready. I think it's ready, I think it's ready. Technically, your, you're supposed to be. Wrists? My wrists are great. I yeah. feel good. I feel really good. I'm really into this. I am. Into this. <laughs> As you can see. Have a hot pepper. Have a hot pepper. That'll light a fire under my tickets. <laughs> All I right, still feel it on my lips, actually. Do you? I'm sure you do. Carl's going to be feeling that hot pepper all day, huh, Allison? He's a scot scotch bike. <laughs> crazy. Yeah, he is crazy. That's what they make. Her. And yeah. I would never eat it like that. I mean, I what I do, I really cook Jamaican food because I'm just not good at it. Although I'm a Jamaican, I the cooking gene kind of escaped me. But <laughs> let's say it, it, you put the whole thing in whatever you're cooking because it flavors what you're cooking. But once yeah. you burn pepper, it's so hot I know. that you know it's crazy. So I mean. I, Kudos to you for, for eating one. <laughs> I wanted to just to try it. We'll spend, uh, oh my I'm, God. I learned my lesson. Learned his lesson well, Allison. <laughs> learned his lesson well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jess, I see you're on here today too. I don't know if you can hear me, but Jess, do you make pasta sauce? Let's see if she can hear me. All right, she can. I've never made pasta sauce <laughs> but i bet you'd make a mean one you're such a good now jess is like a master baker for you folks who don't know her jess is an incredible baker like the stuff that she makes is super artistic like you can find it in a store beautiful so jess we'll have to have you on for like a baking show one time you think this is i would love that we would love that too we miss you so much um so do you think you'll have a hand at trying to make a pasta sauce maybe later? <laughs> I'm hoping so. That's the no, plan. She's out. she's out. It's okay. We'll save you some. We'll save you some. <laughs> I miss Tuesday. I miss my Tuesday lunches with you guys. Whatever, I know. Whatever oh, you my God. <laughs> oh, but we miss seeing your beautiful face. So, oh. Well, come on. What's up with this? We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. I'm gonna put a hot he pepper in. Don't you dare! Don't you, you dare! Can't, you can't rush. Oh! <laughs> Ouch. Oh no! Did it go in your eye? Oh, poor Carl! I maimed him. Now he's burned and maimed. Yeah. Right in the eye. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> this is not. This has been a really rough show for Carl. Yeah, that's what I was poking at. It. He was poking at it with the pepper, and you can see that I get very, very. You're Very territorial of, your, uh, of my of your dough baby. <laughs> of my dough baby. It is my child. My glutinous, glutinous child. So we are fighting. Oh, are you all right oh, though? Yeah. Seriously? Oh my god. Oh I'll, I'll admit your eye first eye. aid later. We do have an emergency eye wash station outside of the kitchen. Carl, would you like to use it? No. He's all right. Also, oh, I so feel great. bad. I'll make you an extra nice piece of pasta yes. later, I promise. Poor okay, guy. I'm gonna throw in some tomato stuff. Yeah, okay. At this point, where you are, I guess I could simmer for a bit more. You got some some work to do still. I got a little bit of work to do, and then what I'm gonna do is wrap it up. So this is I'm starting to feel like I can wrap it up. Like I'm starting to really feel 
the key with this as well that you want to be careful of with your pasta is that it doesn't dry out. So Carl's brought me, thank God, this stuff here. So I can feel it's starting to really come together now. Maybe Carl, could I show them really quick just what it looks like? So, oh yeah, for sure. I'm just gonna roll it on the counter for I, a second. I actually did forget the ingredient. I knew it. Uh, beef broth. Beef broth. But that doesn't go until the tomato. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. Uh, so here is the pasta dough. Nice and kneaded in a bowl. And so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and wrap that sucker up. Here we are. Beautiful. There it goes. And that's going straight away into the fridge. Now, if you were being fancy, you would go ahead and not hurt that for me. And you would knead it again. But because I'm not being fancy, I'm not going to knead it again. We really are on a bit of a time crunch today. So this is now going to rest so that the gluten can develop. So into the fridge with that. You all right, Carl? He's still washing his eye out. I'm um, concerned. It's OK. I got it on video. I Take you to court. Take me to court. That's right. Assault. Next thing you'll see us will be on night court. Assault with zero zero flower. Night court. Assault with zero zero flower. I'm going straight to jail for that. Yeah, mm. Actually, guys, you know what? It tastes good. Surprisingly. Flour and eggs. Very good. All right. So I'm going to scrape this dough off the cover, Carl. So let me bring this back over yeah, here. Talk to me about what you're doing. Let's do some tomatoes. So it called for. 15 ounces of it said one can, but here this can's 28. So I'm just gonna do half. Half a can? So, yeah, yeah, that sounds good to me. Are you gonna save any of the little scrapies? Well, I could save the scrapies, I guess, but I think they're just gonna go in the garbage. So a little more than a half. Everybody can see it. Everybody can see that little more a half. And what are those crushed or what kind of tomatoes are those? This is crushed, but it really just looks like a sauce. Yeah. yeah. That could be just because of the no name stuff. There was a few brands, but they all jumped in, you know, dollar here, dollar here. Yeah. That, that, that adds up, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, I'm jumping down. It's so okay. You stir away. Stir away. I'm a mess. I can't see. I can't. He can't lift see. Her, He's you know? <laughs> So, what are you putting in now? Uh, tomato paste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just three tablespoons. So what does tomato paste do, Carl? It's like add, add a little zest, a zing, right? A zing, okay. One, two, three. Now we've got a good color, hey? Right? So this sauce is actually looking quite meaty. That's good. So, and then there's good. actually, uh, I mean, it's not as much meat as I would have. No. And then now we're broth, two cups. How long does it take you folks to make sauce when you're making sauce? Like those of you who do make a sauce, how long do you like to simmer it for? Um, oh, 45 minutes, maybe. That, that's about what I would do. I, I start usually hungry. in a rush. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, the stomach is calling, right? Yeah, I, I get hungry when I start smelling it. I mean, we've got a lot of liquid to boil off here, especially now with the broth. There's a little cup. It's quite a bit, maybe. Yeah, but you know what? Once it cooks down, it probably so concentrates. So like so you can eat, maybe we'll boil some of it off. And how hot do you want it, Carl? Like, how hot would you recommend? Well, at this point, I'm, I keep adding cool stuff. So I'm going to crank it. Boil up some of the water. It's not going to be like our fish episode. Oh, boy. Oh, Lord. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay, so I'll start cleaning. You got your plastic <laughs> wrap sorted? Plastic wrap is sorted. Thank you for asking. No worries. As you can see, we've got quite a lot of sauce here at this point right now because, as Carl said, we need to kind of work on simmering off some of that sauce. I mean, if you guys have the time, this is a recipe that the more time you put in, the better it's going to turn out. Absolutely, right? always. So it's like you have a lot of prep time at the top, and then you take a nice break in the middle. So you're having someone over for dinner, you get ready about two o'clock. Two. By three or four, wow. it's ready to. I hope this is this is an important person you're having over. Well, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. The ether person. That's you know, I sometimes them. it's beautiful just cooking for yourself. Well, that's it. It's nice to just cook. And for my cat. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Uh, okay. Looks okay to me. That's good. It's hard to see. Somebody threw flour in my eye. It is. Maybe eat a pepper. Here we are. Forced me. You know, 
it's tough working with me in this kitchen, yeah, but yeah. it's the best seeing all of you every week. So we're excited to have you with us still. We're going through here, just drying this off. So now I'm going to flour the counter. If you were a wooden spoon. If I was a wooden spoon. Where would you have ended up? Oh. I would have ended up in the drawer, Carl. No, I wouldn't. That's a lie. You know where I would have ended up? The On sink. the side of the sink. Yep. Just hanging out. That's, right. That's where I would have been. Because I'm that kind of a wooden spoon, you know. I'm just gonna show hanging out in various places. Whoopsie. <laughs> Carl. What? Nothing. What did you do? I didn't. I didn't. I was afraid of you with that flower in your hand. <laughs> I'm scared. I am a scary person. True story. Looking good. Looking good. This is the, the Carl Heindel story. Oh, yay. This is All right. Recipe. So I need a nice clean knife. Okay. That is not a clean knife, so I'm going to clean it. Here we go. So dropping down, here's the dough. I'm going to flour a little bit on the top of it. And we are going to get going. Carl, I'm going to wait for you to be back here because oh, you know what time it is, Carl. What time is it? I don't know. I'm scared. You do know what time it is. Where's my bottle? Hot tip. Oh. It's time for the hot tip. What are we doing? Get over here. Oh, oh, oh. So our hot tip today is all about how rolling out pasta isn't really what you see on television. Now, especially with fresh pasta, what's really important is that you actually roll it out to a decent thickness. Yeah. So people will tell you pasta should be paper thin, and when you're using a pasta machine, it needs to be thin, thin, thin. And that, that may be true of Michelin star restaurants, but when you're making pasta at home, if you make the pasta too thin, what will happen is that it'll all congeal and stick together in your water, and then it'll just be a giant lump mess of pasta. So take your bottle, your floured bottle, or your floured, whatever it is that you've got, and roll out your pasta. And what you want to do is you don't want it to be rolled out to, and I think everybody can see here, a super fine thickness that you can see through. I know some people, like I said, connoisseurs will tell you differently. But when you're making pasta at home and you're doing it on your own time and you really want it to work out well, you just want it about a quarter of an inch thick. And that might sound quick to a lot of people. But honestly, Does it is it really not that low. Does it shrink when you cook it? I don't I, think, I don't so. think so. Really. I don't think pasta shrinks fresh, when you cook fresh it. Fresh pasta is very different than dry pasta. Yes, right? it is. Yes, it is. Mm, you know, it's a nice color. It is a nice color. Is that the eggs? It's the egg, egg in it. Yeah, yeah, it's the egg pasta, That's right? It is a lovely, lovely kind of yellowy yeah. semolina flavor, isn't it? We're, this this is the real color. deal. Hey? We're, we're real chefs today. We are real chefs today. We burned it. So here we are, we're doing it. And you can see that the gluten is developing because it is kind of fighting back as I roll it out here. It's Yo, fighting me a little bit. Fight. Yeah, it's a gluten fight. That's, that's in the ring with life. the gluten. <laughs> All right, here we are. No, you can take that away, Carl. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I am continuing to roll. How's the bottle working? The bottle's working well. So it's getting thinner, which is good. Now you, again, pasta, when you roll it, the other thing that you want to know about it is that it, we're signed out again, it's okay. is that pasta dries out quick. Yeah. So if you are making pasta and you are making fresh pasta, only cut the portion that you're going to use right away and wrap the rest of it up. And they say don't don't ever rinse it because oh, no. you want that starch you later. You do. Yeah. You definitely want that starch later. So we are almost there with this pasta being rolled out to a thinness that we like. So I am getting there, Carl. Yeah. How's your sauce? Saucy. Saucy, saucy. How long can I keep the dough in the fridge? Uh, you can keep the dough for years. as long as you want. You can actually freeze it if you wrap it up properly. Once it's dressed, it, you yeah. can freeze it. Yeah. You can freeze it to keep it. So once the gluten has developed, you don't want to freeze it while the gluten is developing. But I mean, after the gluten is developed, yes. So you can keep it for like up to a week in the fridge, Kathy. And then if you're going to freeze it, you can keep it up to a couple months, right? All right. So we're getting there. This is looking pretty quarter of an inch this, to me. This looks super professional. Yeah, it's looking okay. good to me. There you go. Yeah, we are I'm going to donate my rolling pin. I have a nice one at home. I never bake. Uh, 
aluminum one, the new style without the aluminium, handles. Aluminium, yeah. that's right. And what, what's the, you know, the difference? That's like the professional, but they don't I have don't the know. handles. It's just like a long aluminum stick. Really? Yeah. I don't know the difference. But They're really cool. Maybe self home defense. Maybe so. <laughs> Maybe when the chef gets that at the sous chef, he just gives him a good well, whack. I'm not gonna gives trust, him the old one too. I'm with not going to the... trust you with it. That's no, you sure. better not. That is the truth. <laughs> That's the they God also God. have <laughs> rings, rings that you can put on the side, and they're different colors for different thicknesses. So you can have a blue ring for a quarter of an inch thickness, and a red ring for an eighth of an inch thickness. And of course, that's when amazing. you're rolling, then that's right. I you're see. Rolling so there's to the a tool thickness. for everything. There does seem to be a tool for everything. Now, I think for a tagliatelle, so. You would be pretty good. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do it. I've seen people roll it up and then cut it so you get the long strips. But we're just going to be very basic today. Yeah. We're just going to cut it right down. So we're just going to cut long strips down the middle and then cut those in half if we need to. But I think we're good to go. All right. So here is Let's see. our pasta. Let's see. Good night, friends. Here we go. Good night. This is an everybody's waiting for it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's found. Sorry, Carl. That's like uh, nails on a chocolate. Woo. Woo. Now, these are pretty thick pieces. So, so I'm going to hold one for the camera. And this is pretty thick pasta. You've got your quarter of an inch. You you're just slicing it up. So you don't pull on them and stretch them. You could try stretching them, that. Carl, if you want to. Give we're... it a go. You've been having all the fun playing with us. I so. have been having all the fun. I've been doing all the real cooking. All the real cooking, <laughs> yes. Because, you know, real cooking can't be done by me over here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, afraid the words. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I'm not really much of a fighter, to be honest. Not today? Not today. Oh, no, you're a nice lady. Too. I'm nice, I'm a nice lady Except today. for the flower in the eye. I'm never yeah. going to let that one go. No, I don't think you can, Carl. <laughs> so you can see that this is like really thick kind of tagliatelle pieces here. So what's that word, tagliatelle? It's like a thicker rolled pasta. That's a, that's a good word. It's a big one. So I'm just cutting them into strips. So would you want these to be coated in flour? It doesn't matter. I don't think it matters, Carl. So we're going to give this a goo. Give it a goo. Here we go, chopping away. They are not beautiful, but you they know are. what they're doing. They're okay. unique and beautiful. Now I'm curious, if I roll this up, that's the other thing I saw. Oh, I don't know. You make it a tortilla? Well. Oh, I see what you're doing. Like that. So I'm That's curious clever. to see. What's that? That's clever. Yeah, just to see I'll if see. it. I mean, it shouldn't stick. To... Oh yeah, that does work. They're wider pieces, now, that's right? A, that's a hot tip, right there. There is your hot tip. You don't have to go down the whole length of the, the, the kitchen table. So you want to be careful as you're slicing it through so that you don't uh, smush it together. But yeah, maybe add a little flour to that curl yeah. so that they don't stick together. Yeah, I think you had a good instinct. Look this way. Look this way. Oh, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> with the flour. Good idea. Oh, funny. So these are fairly thick. So I would even maybe go a little thinner on these. Beautiful. Yeah. But you know what? It's going to be fine. Nice. Fettuccine. Fettuccine. All right, so yeah, now we're getting our pieces here. Slicing that down. There we are. Carl, if you want to, I'm almost done here. The water's not quite the right. Water's not, you want to add some salt to the water for me? Because we didn't add any salt to the sauce, did we? Yes, I did. Oh, you did, oh, well. Salt and pepper. Salt that was and about pepper. it though. Real simple and spicy. Oh, you know, I actually will grab some of our basil. Love the bay leaves. I love a good bay leaf. For those of you who said bay leaf, I am with you. Friends, I'm with you. It does do a lot. He's just being a little. Why don't you eat it? Why don't I eat the bay leaf after? Not because I was always told. Who told you the bay leaf is poison? Well, you take them out. You never eat them. But it's not about that. It's just they don't have a good texture. They. Oh my god. I'm going to run to my car and uh, drive home, get some yeah. basil. Drive home and get some basil while I finish doing this. Yeah. So I'm just going to finish the slices here, friends. We are almost done. You are so patient, but we are going to get there. 
So while Carl's gone, what I might do is actually stretch some of this pasta because Carl did have a good instinct to stretch it, which I think is good because again, this is quite thick. This is a little thicker than I would have imagined. So I'll just go ahead and stretch that out. You can see how far it goes once you stretch it. Give that another cut there. And then one more here, kind of try to unwind it. You have to be careful with this because clearly when you're doing it this way, it's gonna to stick together. So let me just stretch that a bit. I'm gonna cut a bit off the end here because that's way too thick. There we are. All right, and then I'll just douse it in a little flour. Just checking if the water is at a rolling boil. It seems to be adding a bit of flour here just to make sure it doesn't stick together. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and just make sure I've got something to stick that out with because what you don't want is to not have the ability to get your pasta out when it's done. All right, so here it is. All right. So I'm gonna set that off to the side. Carl's gone there, so I'm gonna bring my pasta over here. Usually you would lay it out on a tray, but we, we are not going to do that today. We're just gonna grab a bit of the pasta. All right. Woo! And we are going to drop it in. You can see, oh, hang on. The water is at a rolling boil here. So we are going to drop it in. You look I so am. professional. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> if only I had one of those wooden sticks, you know, like that they hang the pasta on, then I would be all about being super professional here. I just want to make sure everyone can see. Uh, everybody can see there? Mm -hmm. All right, so in it goes. A little bit at a time. So this stuff first. And then this. All right, in it goes for just a minute and we're gonna wait for it to come to the top. So I'm just gonna wait for that for just a moment. So that is at a high. And we'll give it a minute there just to come back to temp. Did you salt the water? Is the water is salted. Okay. Yep, we're just waiting for it to come back. You have to stir the pasta for some stick to get. You have to stir a little bit. Oh, okay, so I'll stir it so it doesn't stick together. Yeah. All right. There we go. I'm just waiting for the water to come back to temp now. So in just be a second. I thought it would stay at a rolling boil. It had started boiling. There it is. I just want to let it boil for a second, and then I'm going to stir it, okay? There we are so that it doesn't stick together as per Stella. Ooh. So you can fun. also add a little bit oil, but don't stick together. Do you know what they were saying online? We had looked at that. Carl, what did they say about adding oil? Because usually I add it too. Yeah, it said not to. Yeah, it said not to add oil. It said oil. not to, but I mean, that's, that's a preference. Right? That yeah, is... I found a, you want these little guys? Uh, yeah, we can put them in. For the merrier. I got some fresh basil from our garden. Good. Gonna chop uh, that up? I'm going to chop it away from the hot pepper. All right, so the past is kind of sort of starting to rise to the top, giving it a minute or two here in this boiling hot water, just so that it can, I don't know if everyone can see the pasta mm. water here. That smells beautiful, so fresh, fresh water. basil. Fresh basil does smell good. So you can see it's starting to rise to the top. It almost does look like spatzel, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. How do you know when it's ready? Just texture and taste? Uh, when it rises to the top and it stays there. I may have missed that part, yeah. But right now I'm letting it cook a little more because it's a thicker pasta. And then you want to transfer it. So in a minute or two here, we're going to transfer it over to the sauce. Oh yeah? Yeah, and we're going to cook it right in the sauce. You're going to throw it in my sauce? We're going to throw it in your sauce. I don't know. That's right. I don't know. This basil is going to be pretty strong because it's just picked. So I'm not going to do too much. What do you think? Too much? I think that looks great. All right. So Carl's taking over there. So this is all risen to the top. Fairly quickly. Now I'm gonna take the green leaves out. Oh, oh yeah, yes, yeah. Well, I mean, 
When we had past it, it seemed really hard to um, get in there. One, how many did we put in? Three, four, two. Three, four, I think. All right. Beautiful looking, eh? Yeah, it looks good. Let's show everybody. It's coming. Well, we lost some bay leaves, so. That's all right. Let's just see if it's a prize in here. So we're going to let this boil up for another minute or two before we turn it over to the. I don't want to this before we turn it over to the sauce and let it cook down in the sauce for a little bit. That's uh, going to fall on the boiling water. Yeah, we don't want that to fall on the boiling water. <laughs> Your phone. Good Lord. That's not <laughs> my life. Boiling water is all Oh, boy. Thanks for sticking around, everybody. I know this was a longer This uh, is a episode, long one. But what a meal, eh? Perfect. Yeah. Uh, it is coming. We went gourmet. We did today. Can't uh, oh, there's the bay leaves. Get them out of there. Right. Oh, shh. I'm getting beat up today. That's all right. Burned and, Burned and hurt. Yeah. Beaten up, Carl. I'm going to take tomorrow off, boss. All right. <laughs> Don't say that on them. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Just kidding. I know. I like being here. <laughs> All right, so that is, I'm going to go ahead and transfer over. Ready, eh? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, they are super duper thick. Um, so I'm going to transfer. You want me to move some? I think I was going to just come over. I'm going to go there, and I'll put down a, yeah, one sure. of those heat things for you. Sure. And then you can just scoop right in. Yeah, if you like, okay, sure. Well, you know what, if, that, if that's the case, then I'm just going to do this. That's what I was thinking, why not, right? Just drop them. Ah. Drop it. So, in it goes. That's the thickest pasta I've ever seen. Well, it's really thick here. I think probably a little more thick than we would have liked. Rustic. That's okay. Rustic. It's hearty and rustic. It's supposed to be like that. It's a it, eh? got a tomato sauce. It's like wow. this is like the original pasta. Yeah. Right? All right. So here we go. We're yeah. coming in with more. And then it'll it'll seep in some of that flavor, I'm sure, from the sauce there. Yeah, you can add a little pasta water too if you pasta like to the water. sauce. Yeah. That's, but that's, that's all I'm getting trip. for lunch. Pasta water is <laughs> all you're getting, Carl. So we're going to get it down in there, and then it's going to cook down in the sauce. So we're just going to get the sauce so over, the kill the heat over there. You kill the heat, yep. And this I will turn up a little bit. Yeah, you can turn that up just slightly. I would also, because the sauce is cooked down so, so much, and we want to cook this pasta in a little bit more, I would maybe add a little tiny bit of pasta water to this sauce. Pasta water. Yeah, I promise. It's good. Well, I guess you get the salt. Yeah, you get a little bit. Just a Some little starch. bit. I would say just uh, a touch. I don't know if these are, we'll do it quickly. Yeah, quickly. Just a little bit. There we go. Oh. You okay? Yep, that's okay. Rachel Ray always puts in about a half a cup of the saw, the oh, water. Her, uh, Let's camera. see here. Did it die on us? Shoot. Hey, we're back. And we're back. And so we'll put the lid on and then we'll just cook this down for a little bit. Yep. And there we are. Uh, is that all of it? Let me get this hot. Oh, that's one little guy left. Every little, every every little, little guy we can get. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get them in there. And then we're going to put well. the lid on. We made it, yeah. A little water. Just a little more. Okay. I feel okay. like we're getting a little low on sauce for the cooking, but that's all right. So here we go. So we'll cook this down now. Prep away, and then we're good to go. And that is your pasta in your sauce, friends. Put the lid on, Carl, and let that turn that down. And let that put a, put a lid on it. Okay. Put a lid on it. And that's it. Hey? That's it. We did it. And that's it, my friends. That's your fresh pasta and your fresh, super spicy sauce. I'm not kidding. It's actually spicy. It's yeah. super spicy. So there's half of a yeah. scrunchie there's like on a it. There's like an afterburn in there that is intense. Intense. Well, I, I know how hot it is. I yeah. tried it. But it was a. Uh, it's 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 not a pepper for beginners. <laughs> no, definitely not a pepper for beginners. But because I've been Carl on the show for so long, I'm very used to it now, so my palate has adjusted. It's been sitting in the fridge for a bit. I'm glad we could use it. So. All right. 
Well, listen, friends, thank you so much for sticking around for the extra long class today. It was so delightful to have you. Remember, if you let things simmer, 45 minutes on the sauce, definitely you need more time on the pasta too. Time is your friend with this recipe. Time is your friend for sure on this affordable but delicious recipe yeah. that you can add in anything from your fridge. Uh, wanted to know if there's anything you folks would like to have next week. Anything you'd like to see for baking next week? Uh, chocolate chip cookies. All right. That's my mom right uh, there. Chocolate chip cookies. She knows. Is. She knows. <laughs> All right. Oh. It's, it's, it's Carl's Day. Carl's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Carl's Day. Have you ever made jambalaya? Jambalaya. Kirsten says date squares. Kirsten says date squares because the bulk barn is yes. on sale. All right. So jambalaya yeah. means for the cooking, and then we'll do date squares after. So we got a find the low sugar here. date squares. Like they don't need any sugar, they always have. Mm -hmm. That's they're true. really sweet. <laughs> Especially with the medjool dates, they're so good. Oh my God. All right. Well, okay. friends, thank you very we much. love you. Thank you for coming. And we'll see you again soon. And have a thank great you. day, my friends. Enjoy. Bye, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye